Example four, solving. So again, we're going to have two cases. In case one, we're gonna take the two X minus five out of the absolute value brackets and keep it positive. positive. So now we're gonna isolate, we're gonna move the X over and the number over. Um, so we're gonna have five X equals 10, divide off the five, x equals two. Let's do case two. In case two, we're gonna take this out of the negative, uh, this and multiply it by negative one, which would cause both signs to change. So we're gonna have negative two x plus five equals five minus three x. Now isolate x. So when I do that, um, I'm gonna move x to this side, I get x, move five over five minus five is zero. Now, part of the solving again is checking for extraneous roots. So we're gonna check. So I have to plug two in with the absolute value brackets. Those absolute value brackets must be there. So you have X on both sides now. So we have four minus five equals five minus six. So we get negative one equals negative one. Had the absolute value brackets been there, this would have been true. So it helps you kind of know your algebra is right. However, when you take this out of the absolute value brackets, you get one equals negative one. So this is not true. It's very important so you don't get notation errors that you put a not equal sign because this needs to be a true sentence. Then you go here and you have to clearly reject that so that you don't lose marks for not clearly um, rejecting your extraneous root. So that's not one of the answers. Let's check this one. So we're gonna put in zero there. So we're gonna get negative five equals five. Positive five now equals positive five, so this is true. So your solution is x equals zero. Now I'm gonna show the um, piecewise function check on this one one more time, simply because I want you to see what an extraneous root would look like in that case. So if we took the piecewise function of our absolute value there, remember we're using the positive side, if, when, well, we would need to know what the x-intercept of, of this was. So the x-intercept would be if we set that equal to zero, and solved, and you can see that you're gonna get x equals five over two. So if you were to picture this over here, this would be your intercept of five over two or two and a half. So again, positive slope would have been this right-hand side. So this would be true if x is greater than or equal to five over two, you'd bring the negative sign. So this is referring to case two through the brackets or through the equation, and you would say, that's the left-hand side of my V-shape, so X is less than five over two. So in case one, we have X equals two. As you look here, for X equals two, two is not greater than two and a half. So it does not satisfy this condition, okay? So it does not satisfy X is greater than or equal to five over two. So that supports your extraneous root. Now, if we check here uh, for x equals zero, is zero less than two and a half? Yes, it is. So it does satisfy x is less than five over two. So again, this just is confirming that what we checked here is true. You don't have to unless you're asked specifically to check with the, the piecewise function. Um, so unless you're asked specifically to do that, you don't have to do that every time you um, solve.